Hey guys, Ion here and the Chicago Pro, the men's open class, has begun. It is not finished yet, we don't know the results, but as far as I can see right now, it is going to be between Michael Lockett and Charles Griffin. And this is your first call out. I'm not sure if these guys are going to be our top six, probably not, because they're going to mix them up a little bit more as the show goes on. And uh, let me tell you, the lineup is stacked. It is absolutely stacked. So many big names. We have guys like Charles Griffin, who is probably the favorite to win it. You have Michael Lockett, you can see him right now on the hard right. In the middle of the lineup, uh, you can see Lukas Osladil, who looks really good. I think this is his best ever, maybe. He is always known for being in great conditioning, but right now he has the fullness. He's very full. Um, you also have guys like uh, Juan Rodriguez, he looks great as well. Josh Wade, I'm surprised why we're not seeing him right now in this lineup with his first call out, but he looks great as well. You have Esa Obaid, and uh, he looks great as well. It is his comeback, he's back. You can see him next to Charles Griffin. And uh, basically, it's a great show, and you're gonna see the individual routines of not all of them, don't worry, <laughs> but of some of these uh, top pros. Uh, right now you can see them posing and uh, let's let's compare them. Let's see who looks best here. Well, I would say uh, Michael Lockett looks the most dominant from the front. Uh, his quads look much better than Charles's and he has more aesthetic physique than Lucas. As far as conditioning, he's probably leading here in this call out and uh, this middle three bodybuilders are probably going to be our top three. It's probably going to be Michael Lockett, Charles Griffin and Lucas and it's going to be between um, Lockett and Griffin. So from the front, Griffin's legs are not very good. His quads are kind of small. But uh, from the sides, I think it's pretty much the same thing. Charles's uh, hamstrings are not as good. But uh, from the back, it's a different story, though. Well, now let's take a look at the, their backs, actually. So take a look now. Take a look at their glutes. And you can see that Michael's glutes are a bit more striated. But not that much. While Michael's quads and basically legs look better from the front, from the back it's not that obvious. I think from the back, uh, Charles does look thicker overall. Not only in his back, but basically his whole backside looks a bit thicker, especially when he does the back lat spread. Here you can see a huge difference. Now you can see that Charles is much thicker than Michael. But is this going to be enough for him to beat him? Because from the front, I think Michael is better. But uh, let's take a look at the, their sides. Who is better from the sides? Well, Charles Griffin is definitely thicker, but he doesn't have those genetics, those crazy lines and proportions that Michael has. So he's leading because of that. And I think he's the favorite to win it. Yeah, Michael is a little, a little inferior when it comes to back thickness. But look at it from the front. Look at the quads and the, the abs, basically, and the wee taper. I think because of that, Michael has bigger chances. But let's not forget about the other guys. I mean, Lucas is looking crazy, crazy ripped and full. So I think this is one of his best additions ever. But he doesn't have those genetics. I don't think he can hang with the other guys because they have much fuller, you know, muscle bellies and they are much more complete than him. Um, he can, he poses in an, in an odd way for some reason. His poses are looking kind of weird usually. But he does show great development and great conditioning. For that reason, you cannot ignore him. And right here you can see why was I so sure that these two guys are one and two. Because the judges just told them to leave, to step away. Because now it's easier for the judges to decide about the rest of the places. And I'm not sure exactly is this your top, top five or top six or actually top seven. Yeah. Because there are other guys like Josh Wade. I don't know what the judges are thinking. Why Josh Wade is not in the top callout? Maybe... Uh, I have actually no idea. What do you guys think? I don't think he's out of top 7. You will see the posing routine in a, in a moment. So let's go. Let's start with the posing routines right now. So the first poser for you tonight is going to be Charles Griffin. Many people had him winning this show. And uh, it's very likely that that can happen. But maybe it's going to be actually Michael Lockett, I'm not sure. The only reason why I would give it to Michael is because of Charles's weak quads. He doesn't have any outer sweep. All the mass that he has is in his inner thighs. And also from the sides, you can see that his hamstrings are pretty much non-existent, very small compared to the rest of his body parts. 
but now from the back uh, you can see a very good argument for him winning the show he has very good genetics when it comes to his back look at the lats how low they are attached look at the thickness of those traps not only the genetics but he developed that back like crazy it's so thick it's so big so wide so deep and everything i mean his back could be the only reason why he wins this show I don't think he's better than Michael from the front or from the sides, but from the back he's much, much better. This guy also looks much more impressive in his Instagram shots. And in his Instagram shots he looks like Ronnie Coleman pretty much, basically, but on the stage it's not that good. I think the only reason for that is his quads, his legs, which are not super good. And uh, he's short guy, he's very short. The next up is Essa Obaid and guys, please, if I ever make a spelling mistake, correct me in the comment section below, explain it to me how to pronounce them properly, use phonetic symbols or whatever, um, I don't mind, please do that. So as you can see, this guy is back, he's absolutely back and he will probably be in like top 5, top 6, we'll see, but he definitely does look better. He suffered some sort of injury, if you guys know what it was, also let me know in the comment section below, I'm not sure. But I know that this is his comeback and he is absolutely back. He looks really good. Everything is spot on. He's conditioned. He's full. He doesn't have any weaknesses. He just doesn't have that freak factor. He does not look super impressive. Especially standing next to these guys. And this lineup is very deep. So as you can see, he's holding his own. He's looking great. But I don't think he will win the show or place in top three. Probably not. But he is back and he looks really, really good. Next up we have Lucas Osladil, he is from Czech Republic, very close to my country and tonight I am really impressed by his physique. I don't think he ever looked this full and this conditioned at the same time. His genetics are holding him back, um, he pretty much fulfilled his full potential, I don't think he will ever be better than this. Um, he's a great poser, he really knows how to pose and how to expose his strong points. He basically has a very unique style of posing, not only when it comes to his posing routines, but basically when it comes to mandatory poses. He does some different and unusual stuff that you will see uh, probably right now. Um, he, look at it now, for example, when he does back poses. Look at how he flexes his glutes. He kind of points it up, which is not something that you see very often, and with his back. He does not look anything uh, in the usual, ordinary way, because he doesn't have that good of genetics and he kind of hides them with his posing style. And it works, it works for him and he plays his high, he's one of the top pros today, he is the Olympian, but his genetic limitations are what is holding him back from becoming one of the top guys in the world and probably from winning this show tonight. But all in for all, very good Lucas Osladil tonight. I'm really impressed with his physique. Uh, I don't think he ever brought this kind of shape. Uh, the lighting on this stage is horrible, I would say. It's not good. I don't know what is the problem. Why can't they fix the lighting? Um, if, for example, give us 1999 British Grand Prix lighting every single show. That would be amazing. Or 1998 Mr. Olympia. Or 2009 Mr. Olympia, for example. 2011 Mr. Olympia as well. Those shows had great lighting, but today, pretty much 90% of the lighting you can see at the shows, pro shows, is horrible. I don't know why these guys are doing that. It's really so hard to find good lighting. I'm not sure what is the problem, but I should fix that. And also give us HD cameras, 4K, goddamn. Next up is uh, Justin Luis Rodriguez, one of the top names, but he is not at his best tonight. Maybe it's just the lighting thing, but I would say he's flat. I would say he's very flat and uh, probably overcarbed, I don't know, spilled out. He does not look very hard and he doesn't look shredded as he should be, as he was at some point. Maybe this is a lighting thing. Maybe he wasn't dark enough, maybe something like that, but you can see in his glutes and his hamstrings pretty much the same thing with his... Not really so much with his lower back, to be honest. His lower back is his strong point. He has very good Christmas tree, very crisp lower back. That's his sign. But uh, with his glutes and his hamstrings, it's a different story. You can see that he's a little bit watery. And overall, his physique doesn't look that polished, that hard and dense. It looks a little bit fluffy. You can see it with his stomach, with his chest, with his shoulders, arms, hamstrings and glutes, as I already said. But not bad. Justin Luis Rodriguez, not horrible, 
but not great, not great. I don't think he will be in the top six. Maybe, maybe like seventh place, sixth place, and uh, that's actually being generous. I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyways, let's go with our next poser, and that's gonna be Josh Wade. I'm not sure why Josh is not in the top six or top seven uh, in the callouts because he looks good. He looks on point, as he usually is. He's always hard, and uh, the same thing is tonight. Nothing has really changed. I mean, this guy was second, right? Second or third at the California Pro, which is a big show. So right now, this Chicago Pro, Chicago is better show. Chicago is definitely better. The lineup is deeper. This Chicago Pro this year is very good. I did not expect such a deep lineup. Anyways, Josh, uh, hard, hard as nails, as usual. His ham hamstrings are in check, not that much, but his glutes are. His back is very deep, very thick, very hard. I'm not sure why he is not in that uh, top six lineup. We'll see, maybe something changes as the night goes on, as we get closer to the finals. But as for now, I think Josh is looking great. I think Josh is looking promising, and I think he will place high this show. Uh, I would be really surprised if that doesn't happen. I don't think it would really make sense. Maybe not the best shape, maybe just the lighting thing that doesn't make him look as good as he usually is, because maybe the lighting is washing him out a little, he cannot really show the definition that he has, because that's his game, he's crispy as hell, and that's how he places high or wins the shows, but right now you cannot really see that. Anyways, let's go with our next poser, and that's gonna be probably the winner of the show, it's either him or Charles Griffin, and you're gonna watch them compared one next to another after this uh, posing routine. So now let's take a look at Michael Lockett. And from the front, his squats are decent. He had, a, I think, back injury, so he cannot really squat and train his legs as hard. Or it was a knee injury, remind me, guys. But something like that, something is wrong with his legs. But his squats are looking quite decent, actually. He is a genetic beast. He has such a good genetics. He has that 3D bubbly muscle all over his body and uh, in the gym shots when he trains he looks like the best bodybuilder in the world when i saw him for the first time when i saw the gym shots i was really amazed blown away blown away and you can guys check him out you can just google him or go on his instagram account check it out because his gym shots are looking freaking phenomenal on the stage just that much of a difference but he doesn't look like a mr olympia but he does look like Mr. Chicago Pro. He will probably take it. Look at the glutes. He's known for his glutes. His glutes are really, really good. Very thick and very straight when he's conditioned, but he's usually conditioned. His back is what is going to hurt him tonight. If he loses by any chance, it's going to be because of his back, especially from this pose right here. Back lat spread. Not very good. Pretty shallow. It doesn't look very thick compared to Charles Griffin, whose back lat spread looks freaking deep as hell. You know, he's so thick from the back. Anyways, very, very aesthetic physique Michael Lockett has. Very, very good abs, very good shoulders, chest, small waist, small tiny waist, really phenomenal physique. Not very thick from the side and from the back, but very aesthetically pleasing physique. And now we're going to see them fighting it, fighting for the title. And we'll see who is going to take this title, but uh, I'm not sure right now. I would go with Michael, honestly. Um, the only reason why I would say Charles can win it is because of the back. But is that enough? I don't think it is. I don't think it ever was. If this is a huge difference from the front, as it is, I would say you cannot win only because of one or two shots. It's not that big of a difference from the front, but from the back it is. But I would still go with Michael. I mean, he's closer to the camera here, but look at his arms, look at his chest, look at the stomach, and look at the quads. Much better, much better. I'm not saying that Charles is horrible. He's also pretty good. But Michael is better. He's just better. And he's a lot better, actually. And from the sides, it's not that huge of a difference. But you can see the hamstrings. Very good on Michael and very weak on Charles. And this is why you can probably say an argument that Charles is going to win the show. So take a look at the back now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael's back is kind of shallow. It's not very deep. It's not very thick, especially the lower part. And uh, the glutes of Michael are thick and striated, but the overall legs are kind of bigger on, on Charles. And uh, Charles is also shorter, so he may even seem thicker. And he does this pose without uh, spreading his legs too much, so he doesn't uh, appear to be shorter, which is what Michael does. He doesn't really look much bigger, much taller because of that. But overall, 
I would go with Michael. Look at it from the side, the side tricep. Side tricep pose is very hard to hit. Very few bodybuilders have good side tricep. And Michael Locker is definitely one of them. Um, I need to respect that, and you guys should. So from the front, you can see now the abs. Very big difference with abs, but that's not really that important, unfortunately. And uh, now we come to most muscular pose. Still, I would go with uh, with Michael Lockett because he has bigger arms, bigger chest, better abs, better quads. Overall, from the front, he's, look, he's looking better. And this is it for the Chicago Pro, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.